Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today. Obviously, over the last couple of days, we have been seeing a massive pullback in the price of Bitcoin. However, as soon as I saw this candle right here, I posted a video saying we held the support level in the short term. And in fact, we did break through this downward sloping trend line right here and have been breaking out to the upside ever since. So first of all, what are the levels of support and resistance that you need to look out for in the short term? And then secondly, what are the broader trends that you need to keep an eye on? Starting with the support and resistance levels. First of all, you have this level of resistance right here from about 65.5K up to 66,000 US dollars. And in the case that we do break through that level of resistance and start moving to the upside, well then the next level above that is from about 68.5K all the way up to 70,000 US dollars. But even though you're seeing every crypto YouTuber be very bullish right now, there is of course still the possibility that we just see a rejection from here or just from a higher price level. So what are the support levels you need to look out for? Well, first of all, you have this massive level of support from about 62.5K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. And zooming out a little bit on the daily time frame, this is a critical level to hold because in the case that we do lose that 60K level of support, the next level below that is from about 57.5K down to 56.5K. And if we do lose this level of support, all bets are off, especially for altcoins. And the next level below that is from about 53K down to 50,000 US dollars in the price of Bitcoin. However, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we need to take a look at this massive triangle pattern that I have been talking about over the last couple of weeks or so, because as soon as we lost this trend line to the downside, well, it confirmed this bearish price target of about 58,000 US dollars. And multiple times we got very close to reaching this price target. However, we didn't fully reach it, meaning that technically this price target of 58K is still active in this chart. And it will remain active until we cross above the level of the breakout, which is at about 67.4K. So for example, if you see the price breaking through this level of resistance, trading to the upside above this level, where the price broke the downside of this triangle, well, in that case, we can just cross off this price target because then the pattern has been invalidated. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing because this pattern has been very helpful for us to understand the trend of the market. However, it is important that you understand the significance of this level and this level. Now taking a look at the one week Bitcoin liquidation heat map. In the short term, you can see that we took out this liquidity to the upside at about 64.5K. And you can see that we got started on sweeping these levels of liquidity all the way up to $66,000, but we didn't fully complete that sweep. However, it is very clear that most of the liquidity is to the upside because there is hundreds of millions of dollars of liquidity sitting to the upside here. And to illustrate this, I have drawn it out in this chart right here with these yellow boxes. So yesterday you can see we took out this big level of liquidity and as soon as we took it out, well, we actually started trading a little bit to the downside. So now you see how these big levels of liquidity can help you understand why the price is moving in a certain direction. Because as you know, if you regularly watch my videos, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So zooming out to the one month Bitcoin liquidation heat map, it tells a very similar story. Most of the liquidity is to the upside and we have taken out a massive amount of liquidity to the downside here because we're literally talking about billions of dollars of people that were longing the Bitcoin price that lost their money on their trade because we saw this quick move to the downside. So currently there's about $2 billion at around 73,000 US dollars. And in this chart, that would mean that we trade all the way up to this level of liquidity right here. So we're talking about a massive 15% move in the price of Bitcoin, which would of course send all of these altcoins straight to the upside. But do keep in mind that this is of course not financial advice. I'm simply telling you what I see in the charts and you can do with that information what you like. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF inflows for today, 
it is very clear to see that over this entire last week, we got nothing but outflows. As you can see on the very right column right here, we got about $50 million a day on average flowing out of the Bitcoin ETFs with the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF selling most of that and the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF only buying small amounts every single weekday because typically they buy about $225 million worth of Bitcoin every single weekday. However, not recently, and therefore we have been seeing a lot of outflows from the ETFs. But if we just scroll up a little bit, you can see that Grayscale has been selling a massive amount of Bitcoin every single weekday. And this has been happening for weeks and even months at this point. In fact, since the launch of these ETFs earlier this year, they have sold about 16 and a half billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. And if we just take a look at the price action since the ETFs launched on January 11th, well, in fact, when we reached this top right here, the price went up 60%, even with Grayscale selling $16 billion worth of Bitcoin during that time. And what we must keep in mind is that Grayscale doesn't have an unlimited amount of Bitcoin. They do have a lot. They have hundreds of thousands of Bitcoins. However, eventually they're going to run out of Bitcoin. And as soon as that happens, guys, I think the price will absolutely moon because there simply isn't hundreds of millions of dollars worth of sell pressure every single day. So all of this sell pressure is lifted. And of course, by then, we will also have seen the Bitcoin halving also adds on top of that with a lot less supply coming on the market from these Bitcoin miners. And I do think that these are some very bullish catalysts that will send the price much higher, but this will just take some time to play out. So now taking a look at Ethereum on the daily time frame, you can see that we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level. And then as soon as we lost the 618 Fibonacci level right here, we quickly moved back to the 0.5 Fibonacci level. So this has been a violent ride to the downside for the price of Ethereum. However, in the short term, it looks like we have found some support and are now potentially ready to see us trade back to the upside again. But in my opinion, I do think it is very dependent on what the Bitcoin price actually does in the short term here. Because for example, if we see the Bitcoin price lose this 60K level of support, then I think it is very likely we also lose this 2870 level of support for the price of Ethereum. So zooming in on the four hour time frame for Ethereum, you can see that we are basically just ranging between this level of resistance and this level of support. So the most important levels you need to watch right now are this support level from about 3000 all the way down to 2850 and this resistance level from about 3150 up to 3250. And everything has been going exactly as expected since I told you guys about a week ago when we reached oversold territories on the four hour time frame for Ethereum. Because what I said is whenever we reach oversold territories, there is limited room to the downside in the price. So first of all, the RSI needs to reset a little bit to around this 50 level before we can then potentially see another leg to the downside. And the way the RSI resets is by the price either moving upwards or simply just chopping around sideways. So again, not too much has changed for Ethereum and we just need to watch these two important price levels because I do think as soon as we either break it to the upside or we break it to the downside, that's when we see our next big move. Now taking a look at Solana on the four hour time frame, we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level recently. And then as soon as we lost this 618 Fibonacci level support, well, we quickly traded to the downside, reaching the 0.5 Fibonacci level. However, even though we broke down massively below this level, it looks like right now we are potentially seeing a bit of a reversal back to the upside and flipping this 0.5 Fibonacci level back into support. So zooming in on the four hour time frame for Solana, we obviously got this massive move to the downside, but similar to Ethereum, as soon as we reached this oversold territory, I told you guys that there will be limited room to the downside and the RSI will need to reset a little bit to around this 50 level before potentially seeing another leg to the downside. But in the short term, we are currently in this zone of resistance and are potentially about to break it to the upside with the next big level of resistance being from about 166 
all the way up to $172 in the price of Solana. However, in the case that we do just get rejected from this level here, well, then there is a support level right below us at about 133 down to $125. But in the case that we lose it, the next level of support below that is from about 115 down to 100 US dollars in the price of Solana. One other level that I would be watching if I was trading Solana in the short term is this downward sloping trend line, because as soon as we reach this, we could potentially see a rejection from of that level. However, in the case that you see a breakout and then a retest, you can be pretty sure that we're going to reach this next level of resistance. Now, lastly, if you want to unlock some cool bonus content and support the channel, then go to the description of the video that you're currently watching. And then the second link will be the link to my Patreon. I recommend you go check it out. There's some cool extra benefits for those who want to support the channel and get some extra content. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.